you guys and today we're doing drone pilots react that's right you may have seen other videos across youtube where experts critique things from their field and tell you the ins and outs on how realistic it is and so we're going to do that today here with drone footage seen in popular advertisements and movies so what brought this about is if you watch the apple iPhone 12 keynote release. They had some first person drone video footage in the keynote. That's amazing. And so we're going to critique that because that set the drone community on fire with a ton of comments to know, is this fake? Is this real? Are they just pretending to fly an iPhone on a drone or did they actually do it? There was some very interesting things about the drone footage that made us think that maybe it was fake uh, so we'll get to that at the end first up let's start out with a movie um, that is on Netflix right now called Alive it is a survival horror type thing with zombies at the end and there are a couple of cool drone scenes in there so let's go and critique the accuracy of these drone shots so first up Morris is flying a set of fat shark video goggles that allows him to see what the camera on the drone is seeing and in the first shot he's flying a DJI style camera drone this is a fully GPS enabled drone that can hover and do camera shots now those goggles cannot actually connect to that drone so that part is not really accurate but the way that the drone's flying the controller he's using all match up someone is actually flying this in the shot so that part is real the controller that he's using is the one that will connect now what he's trying to do is get that cell phone that he's taped to the drone high enough to get a signal to his bluetooth headset and that's a realistic use case uh, but he would not be able to in the shot he loses battery life and it's terrible now see how jarred he is when he crashes and he's like oh he takes off the goggles that's what we feel when we crash it's like getting into a car wreck it's really um shaking the next drone he has is a freestyle drone it's a five inch like this he flies that over now he would use those goggles to connect to this drone and he can notice he has a different controller or radio that is accurate. The one he's using there would connect to this drone. Now, one thing I don't like is how close to this actress he's getting. He's flying about this close away. These five inch props, which are the same size on his drone, are spinning extremely fast. You would not want that to bump into her face at all. It would be a very bad day to the hospital, most likely. Uh, you can also see that it has something connected and she kind of yanks it off. Uh, you can see the drone do a little bit like that. It is that's realistic but if you yank it too hard and the pilot's not that experienced it could really um, move in a larger amount so i do not recommend you ever do that but everything else about the scene is completely accurate and realistic next up we have spider-man far from home um you have some drones that have been summoned by mysterio nothing that is that size and weight that can hover like that currently at least not on the consumer market now if this was available like on the defense side one thing that i don't find realistic is it's not making much noise if you have something that gets a little bit heavy this is a guarded uh, drone with these ducks on the side this sounds like a jet engine if you were to power it up inside it's super super loud so the fact that those are hovering there without making enough noise and they can still hold a conversation in that corridor that part's not very realistic the other parts are very cool. Who doesn't want to have drones that, like that? Next up is a scene from They Live, the 1988 movie starring Rowdy Roddy Piper, famous for this scene in the bank. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Uh, but in addition to that scene, there is uh, one of the first times a drone was possibly shot down with a shotgun. You can see here, he spots this thing. Look at this, it has a, a hole at the bottom that could be uh, have a propeller in there allowing this drone to hover. It has a camera that looks down and it does seem to be stabilized video. So that is like uh, a glimpse into the future in 1988. How did they know we would have that technology like 25 years later? Very interesting, very cool. Um, <laughs> Forward thinking by director John Carpenter. And lastly, this is the release of the iPhone 12. Yesterday in the Apple keynote speech, there was some FPV first person view through goggles drone footage by Johnny Share, known as Johnny FPV in our community because it had the most famous commercial pilot in the video. Everybody recognized him immediately, Johnny Share. 
And one of our most famous YouTubers, Joshua Barba, was like, what is going on here? Why is there this camera flying that has no battery attached and there's no cables plugged into the video transmitter? So let's take a closer look. Here is the scene. It is in the context of these guys using the iPhone stabilized footage to get some really nice cinematic shots of some wild, wild horses. And here you go, you can see Johnny FPV taking off right there. And here is the famous shot. So let's look at this in slow-mo. You see his quadcopter right there. That is all of his branded frame, his branded motors, and it's strapped to that drone with a Velcro strap. That all seems very realistic. You could take your iPhone 12 as soon as you get it and do the same thing. I would not recommend it because there's no crash protection. You can get flying the DJI ADUs and he's using the Crossfire link um, um, so that's the strongest link that you're going to be able to have for long range and commercial pilots would probably want to fly that here's the qu shot in question you can see that that video transmitter the silver thing is not really inside the drone frame that's a little weird the antennas are just kind of like stuffed under the wires that's not really good build practice uh, but the most notable thing is that there's no wires plugging into that video transmitter. See that little white thing that is a harness where wires would connect that to the camera system and without that, it's kind of like having your TV with nothing plugged into it. You're not going to be able to watch a movie, right? And so everyone was saying, is this fake? Is this fake? Uh, Kabob posted on one of the groups, you know, is, did they actually use an iPhone to get this footage on a drone? Did they use a helicopter? Like what's going on? So Johnny FPV, the pilot himself actually responded and said, look guys, um, there are a couple of different drones in these shots. The one where the takes off is kind of his normal drone setup that he would use. The one where the you can actually see the drone flying was done with the camera positioned on a pole so that it can look at it in a third person view. He's saying that they cleaned up that pole in post processing to not show it. That's, that's you know something that is done and that they moved the battery from the top to the bottom so that you could see the iPhone screen as it's flying recording the horses. And as far as addressing the missing cable, he says that since it was around the same area as that pole that they cleaned out, that they removed those wires and post as well. That all makes perfect sense to me. That is something that you would do. Um, I mean, the part though that is a little bit uh, iffy to me is the fact that those that cable you can see it perfectly it, like if they just removed it haphazardly you would see like a missing part of that cable but this is a professional shoot this is the iphone apple keynote so i can see them taking the time to maybe find an empty one of those um, video transmitters and editing it to look exactly how it would look missing those cables so that's the mystery solved um, great job. Um, Trappy, who is the CEO of Team Black Sheep, the transmission protocol system that he was using, uh, was saying, look guys, let's not all get up in arms on the details of this. The fact of the matter is they were using first person video drone footage in the Apple keynote. That is huge. This was not a drone advertisement. This was an iPod advertisement. And the fact that they were using drone footage in it is just amazing. So if you think this type of video is cool, these critiques are cool. If you think I was wrong on any of those, please post that I might've stated in below. And if you wanna see another one of these post movies, TV shows, other things below that you want me to do in another episode of Drone Pilots React. Thanks guys.